what's going on guys welcome back to the channel welcome back to terabyte reacts and we are jumping into episode five of ping pong the animation yes and you guys already know the competition ended um i think it was the um the pre what is it the preliminaries before the inter eye i think um I'm not entirely sure. I don't remember exactly, but yeah, the competition has ended, and our boy from the school that wears the black. <laughs> um, it's been a while, guys. So um, it's gonna be is it's gonna be me watching this episode to kind of refresh my memory about it. Um, but yeah, I know what has been happening is just that the names are kind of. A little bit of a buzz right now but anyways um yeah so we have the competition ending um basically mr smile he threw the match um let our boy um from china he he won and he he knows that you know the guy uh, mr smile let him win the match um but at at the end of the day he lost to that guy right so i think his name is zhang i think his name is zhang um but we we'll remember the names once we get into it this is you know one of my most terrible intros ever so don't pay attention to it whatever let's move on anyways uh we're gonna jump into this episode man episode five i'm only gonna be able to do one episode today i'm gonna try to put out another tomorrow but you guys will get to see this one because i'm trying to get out all the reactions that I've been that I missed over the weekend um, the reason being for the missing stuff over the weekend and stuff being on off schedule right now is mostly because I have um, a ton of things came up in you know my other parts of life um, so I had to kind of you know kind of do the reactions when I can do them because I've been getting home super late at night so I have to reorganize certain things and then hopefully we could get back on schedule by a certain time. I'm also preparing to launch um, the, the Patreon along with some other stuff that concerning my business. So it's, yeah, it's a bit of a <laughs> challenge right now. But anyways, man, I've been working hard. Let's jump into this episode, episode five of Ping Pong. Let's go. You know what to do. Go watch the episode. Um, or if it's here on YouTube, you can watch it. It's not going to be much. Um, I'm going to try to cut it up as much as possible to avoid copyright on this channel. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. It's your boy Terabyte Reacts, and I will see you guys for the review. Yeah, Kong. Kong Wings.你让我现在回去怎么见人呢？况且不管怎样，学校是出了钱，请我来训练咱们那批傻小子的。こんにちは、さようなら、ありがとうございます。说的不错吧？ <笑> 唯一令我欣慰的是封建在世界赛上也赢得了冠军那小子要在联赛里输了我真找个巫婆来把他变着请了舍不得你啊文革我也是啊卡萨曼斯你所有人比特的新格斯优秀没得到那你敢看守
必ず彼は自分にふさわしい場所を知っているはずです頼むぞ海王は上昇でなければならぬまずいな龍一まずいだろおし申し訳ありませんお前が本当に海王のことを憂いているのはわかるんだけど言い張りでボロ負けした連中はまだ立ち直っちゃいねえんだしキャプテンが他校の選手ばかり気にしているってのはどうなんだ申し訳ありません落ちてるよピッチ上げて上げて腕振るもっともっと耐えるそこだはいオーケー止まるな止まるな歩いて歩いてえい、ー、キャプテン太田ご帰宅かねうーっす俺ら上がりますけどなんか手伝うことありますないよサンクスおいしょ失礼しまーすグッバイ真っ黒だな誰かと思ったぜやめたんじゃねえのか星野スマイルいないのね少し太ったかお前え嘘月本ならじいさんと一緒に外周行ったぜ何しろ野球は俺らと完全に別メニューで動いてる朝5時から学校来て10キロ走んだよ10キロ運動量だけで俺らの3倍はある試合の数だってじいさんがバカみてえに半端なく組んじまうなんでアローエブリバディ注文したかねメス少し太った買い替えたメガネのせいでそう映るなよお菓子の食べ過ぎ俺のポリシーだタバコもえ見下げてんのな俺らのことをえバカみてえに試合するのもうちにろくな練習相手がいねえからさああおかげで俺らはやつのレベルに合った学校と打ち合うわけで王子様はお一人で連勝街道を突っ走っておいでだがなもうこの国チームなんて存在しねえやつ一人が一軍で他は玉拾いって図式よ<笑>でやいや佐久間が気をらんてなボス風邪気味じゃけ料理で西洋する言うとりました風邪で分かった。風間、ま、休憩終わっちゃうばい。うん。ああ。やっぱあれか。サクマンことに気になりよってやろ。いや。そうやね。あのサクマに限って。サクマは負ける。ああ。月本誠はすでに君らとは違う段階の卓球を身につけているよ。あれは負ける。金木犀の香りがするね。先輩、そろそろ。おお、今行きよろうが、うん、おいおい悪魔お前さんの乱視はそこまで進行してんのか駅間違えてんよここは早い<笑>少し太ったかペコ失礼します監督さんはどちらにおられますか What a waste of talent ペコ is man、oh、my God. 自分は海洋一年佐久間であります本日は月本選手と試合させていただきたく参上しましたでっさやってもいいけど悪魔お前負けるよクアクイーなんでもやってくれよもう試合をするのは構わないが君の学校は個人的な対外試合を禁止していなかったかねええ負けでもしたら即退部になります聞いたかミスター新選組みたいよ近藤勇も許可してないのかね土方にも告げずに来ましたよ切腹覚悟というわけだオッケーそれさあ我々の時間を少し君にプレゼントするよ15分で済ませてくれ残りのメニューも消化したいわかりました上等お前と打つのは2年4ヶ月ぶりだなスマイルそうだっけタイム俺の96勝37敗さそんなこと忘れたよレディーちっとばっか風間さんに気に入られてくからって調子くれんなお前の連勝記録も初戦止めまん相手の朝たくにすぎねえよ火の中の蛙が水遊び行くよあ、ベッ
<laughs> Bro, did you see that <laughs> serve, <laughs> sir? Let's give it down about a bit. You ain't ready, bro. You ain't ready, bro. Sit down. <laughs> you actually getting points. <laughs> you lucky. You sabri mo kikane. Makuru mo heki de hiro. Game count two zero. Skimoto. Marude. <笑>一体どこで間違えた一体何につまずいたひどい乱視だねマナブ君どこで間違えたこれからは目が疲れたら遠くを見るよ何につまずいたカラコは私と違って目がいいんだほら学ぶあれをご覧違うよマナブ<
All right, so let's talk about this, man. You guys already know how I feel about this anime. It's this this anime is more about learning more than anything else. It's you know what I'm saying? Like it's the matches are good, but you're not seeing enough of the matches to ignore the story. You get what I'm saying? It's well balanced. And you guys already know if you're a fan of my channel, you know I love when there's something to learn from a particular anime or TV show. I love that because you know, everything that I invest my time into, I want it to be teaching me something. I want to be learning something. There are some things that you want for, you know, the the pure spectacle of just entertainment, but at the same time, you want to be able to learn some lessons regardless of what your watch and be careful of what you you know insert and program into your subconscious because you know those things will manifest physically at some point and you will realize oh shit how did I end up start doing this and you don't even realize that it's being because you've been feeding your subconscious a bunch of dumb shit you know what I'm saying so you gotta be careful and that's why when it comes on to watching these shows like if it's just for pure entertainment and just laughter i probably won't react to it for long but you guys have done a very good job of suggesting these shows that have these really really good life lessons and i really do appreciate that so when it comes on to this episode of ping pong peko has put on weight He's got a tan because he was at the beach with his girl, apparently, it seems. Um, so the biggest story was that Kazuma won. He, he went to the Olympics, right? I don't know if it was a Junior Olympics or whatever, but he went to the Olympics. He won his singles, um, but the rest, um, but the rest of the team, they didn't do so well in the other, you know, table tennis divisions, I should say, or whatever you guys get what i'm saying but the singles he won the singles so he got the medal came home at the airport of course the reporters swarm him and he calls out his school and gave some props to to smile right um sukimoto so from from that the whole episode just kind of spiraled out of control you know what i'm saying in a good way so it was like uh uh, uh it was like everything just snowballed from there so um the school was kind of upset about what he did um it it's reverse psychology it's reverse psychology and had a little bit of truth to it because he felt like the the, the um his compadres his, his teammates they weren't good enough um as what they once were so he wants he really does want sukimoto to come to his team um, so I'm guessing that's the rivalry that's going to probably develop down the road, you know, when I guess that's how the anime is going to end, um, in episode, whatever episode it is, I'm guessing that's going to be the final episode, the final match of the series, um, Kazuma versus Sukimoto, because that's the match I want to see now. So if they take the, the the next five six episodes to set that up i'm down for it so um the the lessons learned in this anime um is basically from what's his name manabu manabu basically left left the school was like yo he heard what kazuma said he he basically went without permission you know and the school doesn't allow unsanctioned matches like you can't just go play with against anybody you know what i'm saying like another school or something uh, like a a match without them knowing right so or get permission to do it so he went to smile school and peko because he thought he bit peko it was like what what is kazuma talking about why is this guy so good why is he giving him so much respect and he learned the lesson the hard way because when I say Sukimoto from the last time we saw him is even better than when he was playing against Kong because that first serve, my dude, the curve was too nasty, right? So I, I really like the fact that they really got gave it a chance for him to to actually showcase 
the hard work that that the coach has the coach has been grilling him, grilling him, setting up matches for him, all of this other stuff. So the coach really believes in him, believes in his talent. And that's one of the things, too, that we all need in life is for somebody to be in our corner that says, you can do it. I know you can do it. Even when you don't want to do it, that person, you know, can push you and say, I know you can do it. You just got to keep going. Got to keep going. But he got the he's got the the um the shit talk that comes with it too and i love his character i love that about him because he knows what he got and he told him straight up um you just don't have the talent for table tennis which is when i say that line was savage beyond the savagery is ridiculous when it comes when it comes on to that um that line you know, and he says, that's all there is to it. Nothing else. You just don't have the talent. Like, just because you beat Peko, you think you're good? Come on, bro. You know what I'm saying? Um, the strategy that that he used to beat Peko was, was nothing. It was nothing. You know, anybody could have figured out, you know, to do that, you know, tire him out. Because the thing about Peko is he's a, he's the type of player where, he doesn't necessarily use his brain to play. He just thinks his talent will bring him through the match. So, he, you know what I'm saying? He doesn't strategize to, to beat anyone. You know what I'm saying? So, at the end of the day, there is going to be somebody that's going to figure it out. And it was like, from I saw what, you know, Manabu was doing in that match, I know it was trying to tire him out um, to, to, you know, once he gets him tired, now you can't run down any balls and... <laughs> You know, you can't return serves, you, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're just tired. You you know, your arms are tired, your body is tired, you're weak. So, that's the thing, man. Stamina is a big deal when it comes on to sport, no matter how you may want to look down on it. But stamina is a very big deal. Um, So, yeah, man. So, this episode was really good, man. I liked it so much. Um, So, now, um, you know, refresh my memory about the names. We got Peko, we got Smile. We got Sukimoto, we got, um, that, well, Smile and Sukimoto is the same person. Um, you got Kazuma, you got Manabu, which I don't think we're going to see him anymore because he started fighting in the street, got kicked out of school, kicked off the team. So he's just spiraling out of control just from hearing the truth. Um, I don't know what to say, man. But anyways, man, just remember, guys to like and subscribe if you're new also leave a comment under this video thank you guys so much for watching your terror squad i am mr terabyte reacts and i will see you oh i will see you guys next time for some more savagery from our boy mr smile peace